Welcome back to the Real my people. And today I would like to talk about how breakfast is the most lethal meal of the day. I would dare say that breakfast is the most deadly meal in America. Uh, me personally, you know, I don't really eat too much on breakfast. You know, I may eat like a uh, uh, organic, supposed organic bar or, you know, oatmeal from time to time. But I'm not too much a breakfast guy. You know, I may eat a, eat a banana. Uh, but see, it's usually, you know, 8, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock before I actually really eat something. But breakfast, you know. I remember growing up breakfast, they were always pushing the whole breakfast narrative. And, you know, the stores had a, a you know, nice impact down. You know, they always have, always like to, you see something on the commercials about, oh, and this such such box of Pops, Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, you get a toy in the bag, whatever. You know, I would, you know, whenever when I go to the store, try to convince my mother to give me that cereal that has that toy or that card or car or something in, in the box. And that would drive my feel to, you know, go get the cereal box, you know. I wasn't too big a fan of those cereals. But, you know, that's that's the whole marketing aspect. You know, they would have the cereals like four feet and below for the children so they could reach and get it themselves and they go to their parents, oh, and try to beg their parents, you know, it's a great marketing idea, great marketing idea. And then with the older older people, you know, they have the fast, fast and go Jimmy Dean breakfast, you pop it in the oven. Uh, Starbucks, Starbucks became pretty big about five, probably about 10 years ago. You know, Starbucks popping up everywhere, you know, uh, Dunkin' Donuts everywhere, especially on the East Coast. Uh, who else, you know, you know, you got your Chick-fil-A's, your, your McDonald's, your Burger King, and, you know, all your fast food places that sell the breakfast early in the morning. Then you got the gas station that sell their own little breakfast section, uh, their own little pop and heat, heat up stuff. And all these places I'm listing, you know, the cereal, I mean, it's, it, it creates mucus. For one, you're drinking the cow's milk, uh, which, you know, me personally, I like, I like to drink the cow's milk. Used to. And then I just kept wondering why I was, my face was always breaking out all the time because I was, I was drinking, eating four bowls of cereal a day. You know, I had to cut that out. And then my face cleaned up a little, a little bit better. But... You know, you hardly ever see anyone eat like an actual banana or make themselves a smoothie. Comparatively to the numbers that you see people getting hash browns, chicken biscuits, sausage biscuit, waffles, pancakes, um, this coffee loaded down with cream and sugar, making 40 grams of sugar right first thing off the morning, uh, bacon, um, what are the pork chop biscuits, gravy and biscuit, you know, it's just all of that stuff first thing in the morning. Uh, you know, if you especially if you didn't get any sleep the night before or the night of. And then your first thing you go and get is coffee or Red Bull. Uh, you know, because I, I like to study study what the people are buying around here. You know, I see the guys, you know, who does like, you know, do like work with their hands. They like to go get the Red Bull, you know, that type of stuff. And they, we, we, know, we all know that's not healthy. You know, they get the Red Bull, the working people downtown, they like to go get their Starbucks, their Dunkin' Donuts, King Donuts, first thing in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. You know, you always see a long line of Chick Fil A. They're getting fried chicken and potato, fried potatoes first thing in the morning. Grease, grease, grease. So when we start that trend first thing in the morning, 
and we don't eat our proper fruits or vegetables, if we even need to eat anything, because you, you, when you go out to eat, usually people aren't, you know, getting a bottle of water or a cup of water to drink. They're getting a Coke, a heavy cream and sugar coffee, one of these energy drinks, supposedly energy drinks, you know, and that just lowers the vibra vibration right off the bat. Okay, so you go into work, you're already dreading your job. You, a lot of people, 60, 50, 50, I would say 55, 60, 70 percent of people, I would say about 55 to 60 percent of people don't like the job. Another 20 percent, you know, they could withstand the job, but they would like a little bit more pay. And, you know, 10 percent, I think, like their supposed job. But you combine lack of sleep, a poor nutritional breakfast first thing in the morning, you're high in sugar, high in fats, high in fried foods, uh, high, high in processed foods, red meats, um, all that bread from, you know, biscuits, donuts, pancakes, etc. You may make it do a little boost right, right off right off the bat, but by eleven o'clock, you gotta go for more. You gotta go for more. You gotta get you start going through withdrawals. So now you can't concentrate at work. Uh, you know, you're you're kind of feeling tired or whatever. You need to go out and get something else to eat if you don't bring your lunch already. And not that many people really bring their lunch. So, and then you, it's really the same thing. You go out and get the same thing, same place, another fried chicken salad or a hamburger. Uh, pizza, you know, the, the the health decisions for lunch time, I would say, are somewhat slightly better than the breakfast time. But breakfast really kills a lot of people. I mean, I know people that eat bacon and sausage and all that stuff every day, fried. Chick chicken biscuits and sausage biscuits every day, first thing in the morning. Like you didn't give your body enough time to fast. Okay, we have to give the body enough time to fast, so you know reset, regenerate. To you know, uh, it's 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 like you can't. You're not supposed to stop your car first thing off a cold start, and try to go a hundred miles per hour. You know you gotta let it build up. You know let it run a little bit. Let it warm up some, um, but that's that's what people do when they eat breakfast first in the morning, and then on top of that, you're you're we have fluoride, the whole fluoride water, you know, brushing your teeth with fluoride toothpaste is the fluoride water, so that's just not a good combination, to you know hit your body with all those type of toxins and all that meat and bread and cholesterol. First chicken in the morning. So that's why I say breakfast is the number one killer uh, killer meal in the Americas. So I'm not sure about the countries, you know, over to the east side, west side, or whatever, but I know that breakfast was really heavily pushed about early 2000s, heavily pushed. Uh, but is is really deadly uh so we gotta be really be really careful with what we put in our body first thing in the morning and make sure we get our sleep uh make sure we warm up the body first uh, make sure the first thing that you don't drink is in the morning it's a coffee or a red bull or a soda like i can believe that people drunk sodas at six o'clock in the morning seven o'clock in the morning eight o'clock in the morning you know I didn't, I didn't think it was true, but as I watched people, you know, working at various jobs, you know, going to different cities, you know, being at the airport, whatever, I was like, wait, man, why are these people buying Cokes and Pepsis and Mountain Dews, Red Bulls and Starbucks first thing in the morning? And I, the coworkers, coworkers, I've had coworkers before, you know, they're drinking coffee all the way up until 10 o'clock and buy 12 o'clock they're done for uh, they 
they have to go to sleep or they have to get by get more sugar to keep themselves going for the rest of the day. But yeah, we got to, you know, put water in the body first thing in the morning if you even need anything. Cuz if you have the proper sleep, you can go at least 2 hours before eating something. But thank you for watching everyone. Make sure you, you know, feel your body right first thing in the morning. Hasta luego.